Set! White 80! Check! 45 to Mike! 65, 65. Now contact 65. up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you've got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. He's coming, double up. Eight, 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 eight. All right, let's go. Motion, motion, motion. Hey, check Mike 45. Check Mike 45. Kings, Kings. Squeeze, squeeze, double, double. Squirrel! Shift! Watch the shift! Hey! 45. Mike 45. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Open man right side is Smith Schuster, complete. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. In for the score. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. And on this play, he just made a great route. The quarterback had to deliver it, sure, but a great route run there. And, Brandon, this is what the best receivers do. They work on their route running because it's one thing to have athletic ability, but to really get open, you have to set up defensive backs with different routes and be precise in your cuts. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. That throw good for four. It's second down. Let's go. Second and six just inside the 30. On second down, Ryan on the screen. This is Coleman, and he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. And give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed, but all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Under four to play now. Clock running, third down. From the gun, it's Ryan. Flushed out right. He's got Sanu. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Hey, wait, wait. On first down, Ryan drops it off for Coleman. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Well, this is how you shake the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one four for four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw 10 interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident, keep flinging it. I'll just figure there's something wrong with the football. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Bud Dupree coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. So second and long, and got to be careful not to fall out of field goal range. All day, baby. All day. We coming all day. Out of the gun. It's Ryan. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Got him. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. 
Two minutes to go here in the first half. Back to Heinz Field after this. So the sack pushes him back, and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. Single, single, slot, slot. Let go. From the shotgun, Ryan looking deep for Julio, and he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Looks like Ryan's going to stay out there. Indeed, they're going to try for this on fourth down. 42 is the mic. 42 is the mic. Hey, Express, Express. 12. Let's go. They'll try and throw for it with Ryan. He's going to let this one go. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Calvin Ridley, 40 yards. And the Falcons draw a bit closer. Wow, talk about a big fourth down conversion for the score defensively. How do you let that happen? I think you start with the offense and you give them credit for going for and having that type of, well, let's face it, audacity. But defensively, I think you're right on target, partner. There's no way something like that's supposed to happen in that situation. You're supposed to be able to shut that down and get the ball back for your own team. Instead, they give up not just a big play, but a touchdown. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Steelers' offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They'll give him eight on the play, and that'll bring up second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Watch run, watch run. Eight, 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 eight. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. The passing game in rhythm right now for Pittsburgh. There's another first down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. Roethlisberger coming up with a first and 10, and he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. Again, it's Roethlisberger. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. But that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, and have them back on their heels. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. And now a timeout defensively by the Falcons. As he'll talk it over here before what'll be an important third down. Watch left. Four down. Why, why, why? Get why. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A really nice gain of 25 yards. 
And connection number one there on the game, Roethlisberger to Boney Tony, Antonio Brown. That's what his high school teammates used to call him. I wonder what they would call him now. <laughs> more muscular, more successful Boney Tony Brown, right? <laughs> I'd say you're probably right. He may be all of that. I'll still call him Boney Tony, but Ben Roethlisberger calls him my number one target. It'll wind up being a loss of two, and it'll be second and 12. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. But it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Hey, hey, check. Show that bench release and go. Set! Black 80! Gotta go. Oh, on second down, Roethlisberger. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight, unable to find anyone open. 45, 40, gotta go. Mike, 45. They'll try to run it. This is Connor, and he's in. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. A great effort there as the first half is winding down and the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead. And that'll give them a two-score lead here, but I'm looking ahead. They just want to hold it for the final moments here in the second quarter. They don't want to give up anything on the other side. No, not at all, because if they don't, it almost had the feel of an imposing their will score. And right now, they want to make sure they keep that and tear it into the second half. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the Falcon offense now as they get set to take over here. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. 19 seconds showing to play in the half as they come up here first and 10. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Throw right side caught by Ridley. So he got free of one tackle but couldn't do a whole lot else. The completion good for three and it's second down. Final play of the half, it's Ryan. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Hilton. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. So we reach halftime here in the Steel City with the Steelers on top. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. Yeah, still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Kings, Kings. Eight, 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 eight. Eight. 
Now Roethlisberger to throw on second down. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Four down. Set. Black 30. 45, 45, it's Mike. They'll run it now out of the gun. And an alley to run. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 25 yards, the pickup there, and also a first down. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 38. Set. Blue 30. Check. 45 to Mike. Kings, Kings. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 11 more on that one, and another first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Set! White 80! Show that bench release and go. Do your job! Shift! Shift! They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. Over the middle, it's caught by Rodgers. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back 11-yard gains, and they've got another first down. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. From the red zone now, here's Roethlisberger on first down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. Four down. Kings, Kings. Roethlisberger will throw, and that is incomplete. Good coverage that time by the linebacker, Deion Jones. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. Boys, 42, 42's the mic. Double, double. Corner, corner. Squirrel. Mike 40. Bend to throw again. And he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. A great play there. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Steelers are going to add on to their lead. That drive that really increased their cushion. Felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical. That's one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now, starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, but you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock, too, with yep. a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly.
Final minute now of the third quarter. On second down, here's Ryan. Going underneath, it's Coleman. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Gun, gun, gun. Second and 10. It's Ryan again. Blitz coming and down he goes. TJ Watt leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. So the sack pushes him back and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. Operating from the gun, Ryan, it's caught, Jones, and he's out of bounds, but not before a big pickup that time on what's going to wind up being the final play of the third quarter. Ryan now hitting on two-thirds of his passes, 10 for 15 so far, first and 10. From the gun, Ryan under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Bud Dupree in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. We've been around this league for a while, and many coaches never pull their starting quarterback, almost no matter the situation. In this case, though, I think he's got to make a decision. He's taking a pretty good beating out there. Yeah, with the deficit, maybe not wanting to risk an injury. To throw is Ryan. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Watch two, watch two. So again on second and ten, it's Ryan. That is caught inside the five. 23 yards on the play. Let's go. Gun, gun, gun. They'll run here with Freeman. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. Every team we ever talk to that continues to run the ball in a game, even when they haven't had much success, all talks about attrition, don't they? If you keep running it, eventually good things are likely to happen. It's been a hard go in this game today, hasn't it? Yeah, this defense, they met pretty much every challenge in front of them this afternoon. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. Devontae Freeman punching it in from a yard away. And the Falcons cut into that lead. Well, they decided to run it in and got it done on third and goal. A lot of times, that's a passing play. And the kicker just has to come out for the PAT. He can breathe a sigh of relief as well, right? Although, I don't know if he's really breathing a sigh of relief. I think he likes to put three points on his ledger. Here's Bosher to kick it away. The Steelers offense now, they head back onto the field. This game was really a tussle, seemed like just a moment ago, and now they've got the momentum. A couple of scores on their last pair of drives and a two-score lead. I think here now you just you go conservative, right? Run the football, work the clock. 
You know, I usually agree with you, but I'm going after him right here. I want to put this bad boy away. I wouldn't be afraid to throw it. They've got all the confidence, all the momentum on their side. Go ahead and take your dagger shots and try and finish this one off. I disagree vehemently. I say, run the football. You've got the lead. Well, let's watch it and find out who's right. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs things that they consider safe. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. And now defensively they're going to burn their first time out. Ramsey coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they... Kings, Kings. Check, 45. Kings, Kings. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Finding some room at midfield. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Eight, 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 eight. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Up from his linebacker spot, Deion Jones making the play. I got him, I got him. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Three down, three down. Set, blue 30. Double, double. Check, 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 check. 45, 45. They'll run it now, out of the gun. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down, fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys, they're just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. As he'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll take this inside the 30 to about the 29, maybe the 28-yard line. And the Falcons going to use another timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Kings, Kings. Watch that, watch that, watch that. Set! Blue 30. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to bring this one down to right about the 20-yard line. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. 
as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. And the Steelers on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. They're up against a third and one situation. Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Going to throw deep for the end zone. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Robert Alford. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. After the interception, here's Ryan. And Jones has it over the middle. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Ryan now a perfect 8 for 8 to start the second half. Not bad, first and 10. From the gun, it's Ryan. Over the middle, that's caught by Ridley. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there of 20 yards. First down now, but that clock rolling. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with your play. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On first and ten, it's Ryan. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And, it, and that should do it. Picked off by Cody Sensabaugh. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Obviously disappointing, but you had to go for broke here down two scores. So that forced you to make some throws you definitely wouldn't want to make. And I think this interception is going to pretty much write an end to this one. Roethlisberger dropping to a knee, and that ought to do it. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory.